What up, New Life Church? How you doing? We're on NLC Live today. I hope you're having a blessed day. Hope it's going great. I hope if it's the morning, I know you're going to have a great day to come. If, it's, if you're watching this at night, I hope you had a, I hope you, I hope you, I hope you had a great day. Man, what a great day it is. Man, but I'm excited. We're going to be going through... Uh, Joshua 1 verse 8 today. I'm excited. Probably one of my favorite books of the Bible is Joshua. Um, Joshua is a young man when he, he assumes uh, the role of the, uh, after Moses. He's been training under Moses. And in Joshua chapter 1, uh, the Lord calls Joshua that he's going to lead the Israelites. Uh, and I, I love this story because it's a young man. Is somebody that's young, learning the call of God, and learning how to walk in this. Surrounded by people that are encouraging him, that are training him up. But this is the story right here. But this is a key thing that God tells Joshua. This is so important. We're going to look this up, Joshua 1.8. Here it is. It says, Study this book of instruction continually. Meditate on it day and night, so you will be sure to obey everything written in it. Only then will you prosper and succeed in all you do. This book of instruction is the Bible. This book of instruction is the law of Moses. This book of instruction is what has been handed down to Joshua. And he says, hey, if you if you meditate on this, if you know this, if you memorize this, if you, if you make your life about the word, let me tell you what's going to happen. You will prosper and you will succeed in all that you do. Not because we're of the acts that we're performing or the things that we're getting right, but because God will be living in us and regardless of what we do, if God is with us, we're going to succeed and we're going to prosper in all that we do. And this is not prosperity. This is not, if, if you read the word, you're going to do great. If you read the word, you're not going to experience pain. No, God is with us. And so that we know if God is with us, nobody can be against us. And we will prosper and we will succeed if we study the book of instruction. He was called to lead the Israelites. How much of a daunting task. He said over and over and over to Joshua. He said, hey, do not be afraid. Stand, uh, take courage is what it says. Take courage. I need you to take courage, Joshua. Don't be afraid of what's ahead of you. He's fearful. He's, he's wondering, God, can I even do this? God says, hey, let me tell you. If you read this word, you will succeed and you will prosper. Only then you will succeed and prosper. Obey everything that you do. Obey the word. So how do we apply this to every day? Look, if we wake up and make this word, make our make the Bible, make what God gave us to live out our walk and our, and our relationship with him. If we read this manual, meditate on it, think about it, make it our life, what we're about. What, what movies do we see? What, what do we listen to? What decisions do we make? If we look to this book and we make decisions based on the truth of God's word, we will prosper, we will succeed. And if we obey God in everything that we do through his word, he will be with us and he will help make sure that we are walking step in step with him. And I get excited thinking about that because God's given us exactly what to do. All we have to do is get in it, spend time with God, read his word and meditate on what he's doing. Uh, what he's telling us to do in this word. So today, let's get in the word. If you haven't been in the word in a long time, let's get in the word today. It's okay. Today is a brand new day. Let's get in the word. Let's seek God. Let's pray. Pastor Rick gives us his five, five, five analogy, five minutes of prayer, five minutes of worship, and five minutes of reading God's word. And let's start there and let's see what God wants to do. I hope you have a great day. Thank you so much. Let's be in the Word. Let's be a church that's in the Word. And let's watch, watch what God does all around us, in our city, in our state, and in our nation. Come on. Love you guys.